two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Verona, where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge break to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life. The odds of existing are slim. So the odds of you and I existing at the same time must be next to impossible. Maybe the universe does work in our favor after all, because I got the chance to know you and love you and be loved by you. All right, yep, that's over. All right, so <laughs> just had to do something nice in there because Dylan is um, the nice one. The desire to get married for some people can be unwavering with the constant searching for your soulmate. For others, it can be finding the other half of yourself they didn't know was missing. For these two, the discovery of a fellow shenaniganizer is not something that one takes lightly. Once they realised the shenanigans were aligned, they both knew it was meant to be. But as fate would have it, he wasn't going to meet the one on a night out with the boys. Instead, he turned to the arts. They met at their singing school, sister to sister. He was soon to discover that she was not allowed to have a boyfriend until after high school. He had to wait until I was 18 to date me, otherwise risk facing the doom of the infamous Di Giacomo Roth. You know, when we had our kids, our two girls, uh, I was a happy man, I was content. I never wanted for a son. <laughs> until one was forced on us. 18. 18. Made me wait. There you go. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Lo and behold, on my 18th birthday, Dylan was there with an inconspicuous happy birthday message. Dylan arrived to pick up Capria, to which he was greeted by her father at the door. A nervous Dylan said, hello. <laughs> Shook his hand and eagerly awaiting the spicy, half Maltese, half Italian beauty to come to the door. When the time came for Dylan to propose to Capria, Capria responded in the most appropriate way she knew possible. A clenched jaw, a squeal, and a punch to the arm. <laughs> we knew from the get-go she was the one. When he spoke about her, his eyes lit up like they did when he saw that bowl of olives on Nanda Carmen's bench. <laughs> Growing up watching a relationship like one shared by Capri and Dylan was nothing but a constant reminder to never settle for someone who isn't as understanding, compassionate and vulnerable as Dylan and to never settle for someone who isn't as strong, authentic and honest as my sister Capri. My beautiful bride. Wow. Wow. There's, there's, there's not a lot of words. I'm genuinely gobsmacked. Today and tonight have been everything we wanted it to be. Spending it here with you is more than I could have ever dreamed of. I just want to say, Capria, I love you. I can't wait for everything ahead of us, no matter what the future holds. We're a force to be reckoned with, and I'm proud and I'm honoured to call you my wife. Aww. To our parents, yes, all three sets of you. That's a lot of log parents. Do you, the parents of Capria and Dylan, give them your blessing, promise them your continued love and support, and uphold them in their marriage? I am grateful for the way that my parents showed me what love is as a child. They have taught me that love stems from family, music, food, and obviously, lots and lots of shoes. <laughs> now that Capri is officially a wife, every good wife must have a pair of Crocs. Look at those beauties. Dylan. 
You must always wear the pants in this relationship. And Capri will tell you which pants to wear. Come here, bring it in. Oh, no! This is a special moment. This is our first man hug. Live it up tonight. Drink to your heart's content. And remember to always leave room for Jesus. My father, before he left this crazy world, used to say to us, your friend is your pocket. <laughs> we never really knew what that meant. But I think it meant you can't rely on anyone but yourself. But that's not 100% right. Because once you get married and have a partner, you can and you will need to rely on each other through the tough times and the sad times so you can enjoy the good times and the happy times together. At the end of the day, all you will have is each other. So be there for each other and love each other and life will just fall into place.